بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم انا لله وانا الیہ راجعون وی دا فالوز آف محمد ان آل محمد علیہ السلاۃ والسلام وی دا فالوز آف امیر المؤمنین علی ابن ابی طالب علیہ السلاۃ والسلام وی کنڈیم دا ٹیررسٹ اٹیک دا ٹوک پلیس ان کویٹا ان پاکستان دا ہزارہ کمیونٹی آف پاکستان ہیز بین فیسڈ اگینسٹ دس ٹیررسٹ اٹیکس فار دا پاسٹ 9 ایئرز But now it is the time for all of the Shia all over the world or shall I say this is not just a Sunni and Shia issue but this is an issue for humanity. This is an issue that concerns all of the Muslims because Islam is a religion of peace and every single Muslim who believes in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam we the followers of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam we condemn these attacks and we stand with the hazara community we stand with the shia community of hazara and we are reminding the world that no matter where in the world a terrorist attack takes place we the followers of muhammad and ali muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam we have always stood with the innocent and we will always stand with those people that are innocent because the hazara community their people their mothers and daughters and sons and husbands have been murdered they have been killed they have been slaughtered openly in pakistan and the government of pakistan has still not taken any action this is a time for us to unite This is a time for us to come together. This is a time to raise our voices for the Hazara community and to let the world know that we stand against terrorism. We see that it has been four days. The families of the Shahada are sitting and waiting for justice. they want justice and insha allah we the followers of muhammad and ali muhammad we will raise our voices until they get justice when yazid came out with forces against the family of rasul allah did hussein ibn ali stay quiet no he did not hussein raised his voice reminded the people that we are the followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam we stand with the people of hazara we stand with the people of quetta we stand with the people of blochistan every shia who is being killed because he is a follower of muhammad and ali muhammad because he is a believer of the vilayat of ali ibn abi talib we stand with that person we stand with that community we stand with that society and until our last breath we will support them with the slogan labbaik ya hussein labbaik ya hussein Labbaik ya Hussein I would like to remind all of the Shia of the West and not just the Shia but all Muslims who believe in Tawheed and Risalat because we are all united under the banner of Tawheed and Risalat and all those people who have a heart and who stand against injustice raise your voices within your communities within your circles within your society so that these so called terrorists these killers these murderers they have no place to hide we today want justice for the hazara community we are raising our voices and we are telling the world to stop shia genocide no matter which country it is in whether it is in yemen whether it is in syria whether it is in iraq whether it is in places where people are saying they are protecting muslims but in return they are killing innocent muslims 
we find that for the past nine years, the Hazara community, the Balochistan community, the Shia of Amir al Mu'manin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wasalam, have been brutally killed and murdered. They have been martyred only because of their belief in Ali ibn Abi Talib. For nine years, mothers have been burying their sons, sisters have been burying their brothers, daughters have been burying their fathers. And we have seen that there are many families in the Hazara community that at this moment in time do not have a male in their family to bury the shohada. Raise your voices, come out of your houses. And if you cannot due to COVID, then raise your voices on social media platforms. Use the hashtag Stop Shia Genocide. Stop Shia killings. Help the people of Hazara. Stand with the people of Hazara. And ask the world for justice.